guys, Ariel over here. Just wanted to catch up on a few little uh, scenes and clips from the past couple weeks. We got snow, lots more snow. Um, Burley loves playing in it. He likes chasing his tail. He does have a really long tail so he can actually catch it, which is kind of funny. Um, and eating the snow and pouncing on it and snuffling in it. He doesn't, uh, it seems to be his favorite thing in the world, doesn't mind the cold at all. Then it snowed some more, and we are indeed warm and cozy inside, but I do love just watching the snowflakes fall, and several of you guys said you wanted to see more snowfall, so there is some more of that. In between doing uh, work and stuff I have to do, we do play games. He had, When he was really little, he didn't have an interest in retrieving, but now he has learned to like to fetch. He still doesn't race after most things, but he seems very proud of himself when he brings his rope back. So we'll play fetch for a little while most days, and we end up going for a hike or a walk most days as well. <laughs> I love watching his little expression as he toddles back with his big rope. Then it snowed some more. Yes, it can snow here even when the skies are mostly blue. That's one of my favorite weather combinations. And yeah, I just, I do love winter in case you couldn't tell. Brilly loves playing outside with his different toys. That's the remains of a a rib bone and it's funny with that or with pine cones or with sticks or with grass clumps he digs up any of the above he likes to toss it and and play with himself and throw it and grab it and pounce on it just in case it might suddenly develop legs and run away from him it's pretty funny to watch sometimes i could waste a lot of my day just watching him play or watching him sleep or watching him do most things <laughs> It's so funny to have a puppy that loves to entertain himself playing like this. And then he does like to sit down and actually chew his bones. And yes, that is a raw bone. He has been raw fed since he was weaned before I even had him. That's a rib bone, which is edible bone. And raw, it does not splinter. And it's actually consumed and digested by the dog. I'll probably do a, a whole video on raw feeding if you guys are interested. It snowed more. My one lovely friend brought his big snowplow over and cleared out the driveway. I shovel all the other stuff around here and actually help him with some shoveling so that he has some time to swing by with his tractor and actually blow out the, the driveway in the lane, which is super helpful because that would take me a very long time to shovel. And yes, my van does very well in deep snow. It'll it'll go with no problem through snow deeper than its bumper in most cases. And we actually had some days where it didn't snow. You can see all Burley's little tracks around the house. Just put wood in the fire. Most of the time it doesn't smoke much. Right after you put it in, there's some. Yeah, we've been going on some walks. There's a forest service road not far from the house that's generally packed down because of the snowmobiler, so our walks include some running because I don't love running, but I figure it's good for me. So we do some little sprints for a bit, and by a bit I only mean like a couple hundred yards, and it's very jerky when you try to hold a camera while you run, and then we take a break and just walk again, and then we sprint a little bit again, and then we walk again, and so on back and forth. That's kind of the plan. Burley sticks right at my side the whole time. Fairly checking out the moose or elk tracks we just crossed here. Not sure which because the snow is really soft and powdery and so it kind of fell in on them. It's hard to see a good print. Haven't seen the alive animal, but some pretty fresh tracks. Just a bit after that, on our walk, we encountered two moose. So one of them left the pretty fresh tracks to Mama and her baby back in the woods there. They're a little ways back in the brush, so a bit hard to see. There you can see the cow clear more clearly. Her calf is back behind her by that little pine tree. It's getting kind of dark out here. So we're leaving them back there. 
Riley is practicing his first time actually seeing a moose instead of just smelling them. He let out a little hoof and I told him to be quiet and he listened and we are off on our walk. And back up to the house. It's not as dark as the camera quite makes it look. The sun does set about four, about four in the afternoon these days. Um, but it's still pretty bright thanks to all the snow. Did finish yesterday my wood splitting project for the year. Back here, you can see that my woodshed would not hold any more. <laughs> Barely trying to get in the camera. Would not hold any more wood at all. That is full to the brim, which should be more than I will use for the entire rest of the year. Um, this thing is three pallets long, so if it was just level full, that would be about a cord and a half. I've never gone through quite that much in the year. Um, and this is, as you can see, piled up to the peak. So it's a little more than that. So it should be plenty. And then under this tarp, I still have a pretty nice pile of rounds that is my backup in case of emergency pile. And I have my helper right beside me. There is also lots and lots of nap times by the fire after all the play and snow shoveling and bouncing in the snow. Drifts outside, he likes to come up, uh, come inside and curl up right in front of the wood stove until he gets too hot and decides to move to the other end of the house. But that is one of his favorite places to sleep. And it is fun just to watch him sleep. He is pretty adorable. But then I might be a little biased. <clears throat> Anyway, we also do a little inside random projects, putting up some new photos on my friend's wall, took down a few of the oldest ones and replaced them with some newer ones from the past couple of years that I've finally printed of different things that I've done with different friends. If you're wondering how those are um, attached to the wall, I just have some little um, cotton strings tied across there to a little um, thumbtack on each end and then you can paper clip all the photos you want to the various layers of string. So refilled the photo while barely helped by sitting on the couch beside me and sniffing everything I was doing and watching the whole process. Which then led to more napping. This is kind of a standard English shepherd napping pose. He likes to sleep at my feet while I'm working and we had a lot of gorgeous frost, um, really spectacular frost crystals. I usually sleep with a window open because I like the fresh air uh, by my head. So that those frost crystals right there were made by Brelli and I's breath condensing outside the open window overnight. It was probably about one degree, I think. And we also got some really gorgeous cross, uh, frost crystals flat on the pane as well. I love seeing all the designs the frost will make. And again, that's because the window is actually open. It does not leak air like that if... Uh, it's closed. We had a lovely brunch the other morning with some girlfriends. You can't see Burley in the picture. He was being very well behaved and he loves to, he goes outside to pee. He usually comes back and sits quite nicely at the door to ask to be let in. This time he actually wasn't sure why I didn't just open it. He was like, what are you doing? Can't you see me out here? He doesn't normally jump up to the window, but look how tall he's getting. You can see his legs stretching out when he uh, stands still in the snow and his coat's also darkening as his adult hair comes in. It's just what we're doing around here and have been for the last little bit. Thought I'd share that in case any of you guys were interested. We're having lots of fun. Hopefully you are too. Thanks for watching folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, Click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time!